Hi children, we meet again. In my last lesson, we did factorization and I told you there are four types of factorization. First is find the common factor. Second is factorizing by grouping. Third is uh, factorizing by uh, trinomial. And fourth is uh, factorizing a difference of two squares. Now we have done the first two types. That is, uh, that is uh, finding the common factor and fi uh, factorizing by grouping. Today we are going to do factorization uh, trinomials. Now we will take an example. Now for example, when you have an expression like this, x plus 2 into, we will say x plus 3. When you multiply, we, we noticed, we knew how to multiply. We multiply x by 2, by x plus 2, 3 by x and then by 2. But you can multiply faster also, one by one, one like this. When this x into x is x squared. Then x into 3 plus 3x. Then 2 into x plus 2x. Then 2 into 3, 6. Here also you can multiply like this. When you uh, get enough practice by the other method, that is by uh, multiplying x plus 3 by x and x plus 2, uh, you will be able to do like this. x into x, x squared, x into 3, 3x. Then 2 into x, 2x, 2 into 3, 6. So now here we simplify this one. That is equal to x squared plus 5x plus 6. Now this is called a trinomial. It's so called a trinomial quadratic expression. Now today we are going to study how to factorize trinomial quadratic expression. We will take an example. Look at this one. x squared plus 9x plus 18. Now this is a quadratic expression. So when you factorize this, you must get two terms like this. Now here are the factors of this is x plus 2 and x plus 3. So when you factorize this, you must get two terms like this. How to do? The easiest method, children, is like this. First you put two brackets like this. Then the factor of x squared is x and x. Now when there is both plus means it has to be plus. It can never be a minus because minus and minus is plus. So, so you can't, so plus and minus is minus. So you can't get a minus when there is the plus. So what you do is, you just put uh, x and x. Now we take this number 18. This last number 18. What are the factors of 18? You get lots of factors, 2 into 9, then uh, 3 into 6, 18 into 1, all those are factors. Factors of 18 will be 2 into 9, 6 into 3, 1 into 18, all this. But we must get the suitable one to, to get, now is it addition or plus you add, when you add you must get 9. Where do you get now, when you add 2 and 9 it is 11. So you can't choose 2 and 9. So 6 and 3 will be the correct pair. 6 and 3. Because when you add 6 and 3, you get 9. Uh, x and 1 also you can't get. So, what we do is, 6 and we put plus 6 and plus 3. Just see, as easy as that. In the, the long method, long method is also necessary, but this, when there is only x squared here, you can use this method. You first get the factors of x squared, that is x and x. Then you get the factors of 18, the suitable pair. There are so many pairs, but we take only the suitable pair. The suitable pair is 6 and 3, because 6 plus 3 is 9. Always when there is plus, you add. This is a plus, adding. Okay, we'll take another example. x squared plus 7x plus 6. Look, x squared plus 7x plus 6. So we do put the two brackets. For the first, first term, we will be x and x. Now, what are the factors of 6? You get 7. Now, factors of 6 will be 2 and 3 and 1 and 7. And it is adding, addition sign. Addition sign. So, it will be, you have to add. 1 and 6, sorry. 1 and 6. Factors of 6 is 2 and 3 and 1 and 6. So, 2 and 3, when you add, you can't get a 7. But 6 and 1 when you add, you can get a 7. So we write the 6. So plus 1 plus 7. 6 plus 
6. So now we want to multiply and check x into x, x square. x into 6, 6x six plus 1 into x, 1x, 6x and 1x, 7x. Then 1 into 6, 6. You are getting the answer. So this is the easiest method for you to do when they are the, when they are the uh, x squared only. We will take another example. Yeah, so plus signs it is easy. So you go on doing the plus signs, you will be getting uh, you, till you get more and more practice. Okay, children, we'll take another example. Look at this. x squared minus 5x plus 6. x squared minus 5x plus 6. Now, earlier in the example, what we did was there was all pluses. So, we just add. No minus are coming in. But here, when there is one minus here in this particular place, you have to be very, very careful because when a minus comes in this place, both have to be minus. Both the factors. So now we'll take the factors of 6. Factors of 6 will be 1 and 6 and 3 and 2. So I told you when you have the minus here, both have to be minus. So it has to be minus 3 and minus 2. So minus 3 minus 2 is minus 5. So you put the bracket like this. And you put x here, x here, and minus 3, minus 2. So now we multiply. x into x, x squared, x into minus 2, minus 2x, minus 3 into x, minus 3x. So minus 3, minus 2x, minus 3x. That is equal to minus 5x. So last number, minus 3 into minus 3 plus 6. So that is when there are the minus here. Both will be minus. When there is a minus here, and if you get a plus and a minus, then your factor is wrong. We'll take another example. x squared minus 8x plus 16. So, we have to get the factor of 16. And when there is a minus here, we know that it both should be minus. So, and you have to get an 8. So, factor of 16 will be 2 and 8. 2 and 8, 4 and 4. So 2 and 8 won't give minus 2, minus 8 won't give 8. So we can't take this one. So minus 4, minus 4 will get minus 8. So this is the one you have to take. So we put the brackets. You get x here, x here, minus 4, minus 4. You will multiply and see. x into x, x squared, x into minus 4, minus 4x. Here are the minus 4, minus 4 into x, minus 4x, minus 4x, minus 4x, minus 8x, then minus 4 into minus 4 plus 16. So these are the factors for x squared minus 8x plus 16. We'll take another example, children. x squared minus 8x plus 15. Here are similar, similar to this, but here we are getting 16, but here we are getting 15. So x squared minus, so what are the factors of 15? You can get 15 and 1 and 3 and 5. So factors of 15 is 3 and 5. So you have to both have to be minus. So it will be minus 3 and minus 5. So minus 3 minus 5 is equal to minus 8. So we will put the brackets. x, x, minus 3, minus 5. So this is the answer for this. We will we'll take another type. Look at this one. X, a squared plus a minus 6. A squared plus a minus 6. Now earlier we studied two types. That is one is both plus and second one is first minus and plus. Both plus means both, uh, both the factors will be plus. Uh, first minus will be both will be minus. Those two rules we studied and you have to be very very careful. Now look at this one. In this particular case, it will be 1 will be plus and 1 will be minus. Now we have to get the factors of 6. What are the factors of 6? Uh, 6 and 1 and 2 and 3. So you have to get a plus 1. Plus 1 you can get only from this. Plus 3 minus 2 will be plus 1. So we put the brackets. A, A and plus 3. A into A, A squared. A into minus 2, minus 2A. Plus 3 into A, plus 3A. 3A minus 2A is 1A. 
then plus 3 into minus 2 minus 6. So in this particular case, you are getting a plus and a minus. So remember the rules. When it is all plus, all the factors will be plus. When the first minus is there, both will be minus. In every other case, one will be plus and one will be minus. We will take one more example. Now here, we have to get the factors of 20. Now 20 will have a lot of factors of 2 and 10 and uh, 4 and 5. Like that. So, you have to get the fact, you have to get a 1 here. From 4 and 5 only you can get, get 1. And it has to be a minus 1. So, it has to be plus 4 and minus 5. So, we write down like this. x, x, x into x, x squared, x into minus 5, minus 5x, five plus 4 into x, plus 4x. So, minus 5x, minus 5x, plus 4x is equal to minus 1x. So minus 4 into plus 4 into minus 5 minus 20. So these are the factors of uh, for this expression where you get both minus. So the four rules are, you have to remember, remember the four rules. Uh, when it is all plus, the both the factors will be plus. When there is only first minus, both factors will be minus. In all other cases, it will be 1 plus, it will be 1 minus. So these are the things on a factor than children. Uh, I hope you will do a lot of exercise on this and then you will be able to get uh, enough, enough practice on this. And I hope you like the lesson. Please subscribe if you like the lesson. Thank you.